All right, uh, we're going to talk about is basically how to evaluate absolute value. Uh, there's definitely some misconceptions in a concept like this. What you've got to know is that absolute value is a grouping symbol. So what you need to do is perform order of operation. So if, uh, if you have a binomial inside your absolute value like this, you need to do that first, then take the absolute value. So there's basically one, the absolute value of 5 is 5. Um, the important thing is the definition of absolute value. The definition of absolute value is the distance a number is on the number line from 0. So the important word in that definition is the word distance, because distance always has to be positive. So keep that in mind, so the absolute value of 5 is 5, the absolute value of pi is pi, the absolute value of negative 3 is a positive 3. So no matter what, you're going to have to get an answer of a positive number for this. The uh, distance from 0, uh, that 0 is, is 0, so the absolute value is 0 there. Now we get into a little bit of some operations. So uh, I might change this uh, this one right here and put a negative 7, but we'll see. Um, over here, the absolute value of 3 is 3, so this is really going to be negative 2 times 3, which will give us negative 6. So just because the absolute value is always positive doesn't mean your answer always has to be positive. Looking at the next one, we have the absolute value, or negative, the absolute value of negative 7. So it's really going to be negative, and then the absolute value of negative 7 is 7. So our answer would be negative 7 here. And then this is, uh, the last one is probably the one that people miss most often. Uh, it's not the absolute value of 3 plus 2. It's do the math inside, so the uh, expression inside, and we'll get the absolute value of 3 minus 2 is 1. So the absolute value of 1 is 1. So there's some just some basic problems with absolute value. And now we're going to look at basically how to rewrite absolute value without using absolute value bars. So right now we have the absolute value of the square root of 3 minus 1. And what we're trying to do is write an algebraic or uh, an expression, uh, this will be numerical expressions in these, that will give us the exact same answer. Well, uh, square root of 3 minus 1 is like, you know, 1.7 minus 1, which is decimal 7. Well, the way that we can get that answer without using absolute value is if you take these two things, how can you write a problem to give you the same answer? Well, it would just be the square root of 3 minus 1. Because since this is positive, we'll get the exact same result. Well, if you look down here at the bottom one, it says 2 minus pi. Well, 2 minus pi is going to be like a negative 1.14. Well, uh, the absolute value that will be a positive 1.14. So we want to try to rewrite that and get the exact same answer. So we have 2 and pi. So the way we're going to get the answers, we're going to say pi minus 2. So that expression right there will actually give us the exact same answer as uh, that absolute value.